the Outback Bowl. Arkansas wins 24-10 to over Penn State. Uh, post-game win expectancy, Arkansas 96%. Uh, somehow this season, Penn State went 7-6, and six, and it just feels like they were a better team than that. The, the circumstances around this season for Penn State were weird. Just really weird. Uh, you look at the stats on this one. 58 carries for 361 yards rushing for Arkansas in this game. The defensive opt-outs for the Nittany Lions was the name of the game. There was no specific play that like shifted this game or anything like that. It was close early, but Arkansas just continued to run the ball. They were 14 out of 19 passing for 90 yards. I did have one interception. I This was just... The, the guys that were left over for Arkansas, I'm not going to say that they wanted it more, but the guys that were actually playing for the Razorbacks were better than who was actually playing for Penn State. And this was, I mean, we, we did get to see some new faces for Penn State. You know, Sean Clifford was 14 out of 32 passing for 195 yards, one touchdown, and two picks. Uh, the, the Washington kid for Penn State, seven receptions for 98 yards. I mean, he was... He was awesome. The Lambert Smith kid was awesome. Three carries or catches for 74 yards and uh, and a touchdown. Like at this it was fun to see some new and really this is what ESPN should be doing anyway. It, rather than bitching about all the opt-outs, like hype up some of these guys that we haven't gotten to see. Like talk yeah. about the guys that we will see as opposed to complaining about guys that are opting out of bowl games. Like it's yes. just ridiculous. So uh, did you uh did you get eyes on this one? Yeah, I watched every one of these games. I was at home sick and I didn't have anything else to do. No, I, no, I, you know, and, and, and I mean, let's piss say something. Only one, the best player on both of these teams is Burks, and he didn't play. Yeah, he didn't play. Okay. Yep. All right. That, that might be the best receiver in the country, and he was out. So let, let's not act like Penn State's the only one that had opt No, out. and then Arkansas's uh, defensive lineman, uh, uh, Trey Williams, like at DUI yeah. and then decided to opt out for the NFL, et cetera. So and he, he's a big part of what they do on defense. And Barry no, it was, was, still a, it was a good game. Shots. Arkansas Arkansas did what a lot of Big Ten teams struggled to do. They ran the football on Penn State. Oh, they yeah. ran the football kind of down their throat. Uh, you know what's kind of funny? What Arkansas did to them is exactly what Illinois did with Brett Bielema. So yes. The last two. <laughs> yes. Last two stops for Brett Bielema. Both happened to handle Penn State in the trenches, whatever that may mean. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, this was – it was a good game. Like, it, it kind of – it, I'm not going to say it was over with early, but that third quarter for Arkansas where they scored 17 points and, and just gave up nothing to Penn State, yep. that kind of just sealed the deal because you knew Arkansas there was no way. Arkansas is a good way. team. Arkansas is a fun yeah. team. KJ is a really fun player. And this game was crazy as hell early on, by the way. Oh, like yeah. The first six positions were all turnovers. It was sicko mode. <laughs> I mean, it was like it was like both teams drove down the field and then turned the ball over in the red zone four times in a row, just back to back to back to back. It's yeah. like, what in the hell is going on? SEC what are we stat cat, uh, SEC stat cat on Twitter and uh, and on his website and whatnot. But he he goes back through all of these different stats for these SEC teams, and Arkansas is only one of five successful plays when when they do a double pass, which is just. But like, why God, do you keep running? They're going to keep doing it. Yeah. I mean, Kendall Bryles loves that kind of stuff, man. Loves it. So I don't, I don't blame him for doing it. It was fun, uh, but it was definitely crazy early. So it was 10 7 at the half, and Arkansas had just a massive, massive third quarter. So cheers to him for that. Uh, Sean Clifford didn't look great in this game, but he was about the only thing they had. Uh, 11 carries for him, 47 yards rushing. He was their leading rusher, and of course, you know, leading passer. He went out for a little bit with an injury, but I just could not get that done. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.